It came to the defense of former Prime Minister Royla Odinga over accusations of land grabbing. Meanwhile, Deputy President William Ruto's allies have also poked holes on tomorrow's political parties' amendment bill debate that is set to be tabled before the National Assembly on a special sitting. And as Paul Kirobino reports, leaders affiliated to the UDA party say the amendments are meant to serve certain interests. <laughs> Speaking at Mutumbu Primary School grounds in Game Yala Sub County during the funeral of the late Mamadorka Sudhiambo, the legislators led by CIA Senator James Orengo said a glimpse at the recent history of land grabbing in the country has been linked to others but not the ODM leader. If in, in this world can you to accuse anyone of land grabbing, if you want to look at the history, racist history, of those who have ground land in this country, you are sure to get his name and those of other people who are put in YK92 as a land grab. The legislators among them, Samuel Atandi of Alego Songa, Otiende Amolo, David Ocheng, and Jared Okelo, called on Kenyans to carefully scrutinize the narratives of those seeking leadership of the country, adding that some were just populists. Baba is not an agenda of any election. Baba has already enumerated four points, or rather ten points agenda for this country. Get your agenda, Baba is not any agenda. And I want them to take this as a warning now. Going forward, if you make Baba your agenda, I am the one to deal with you perpendicularly. I want to ask some of my colleagues, some of these young teachers, we need to be patient. We should not put money in front and we should not sacrifice the interests of our communities at the altar of money and cheap practices. We have seen them holding hostage to Sanya, we have seen them holding hostage to Kanoto to Sioka, and I want to advise them that when your parents are fighting, children are not supposed to get involved in that battle. Senator Moses Kajuang and East African Legislative Assembly member Uburu Odinga warned ODM leader Raila Odinga's nemesis against making Raila their campaign agenda and instead they should sell their policies. <laughs> We should not put money in front and we should not sacrifice the interests of our communities at the altar of money and cheap practices. Meanwhile, young lawyers affiliated to Deputy President William Ruto have today poked holes on the political party's amendment bill, which they say is a project meant to serve the interest of certain individuals in power. There is an elaborate legal framework upon which elections have been conducted here in Kenya. And... Uh, the view that we must take, anchored upon the Constitution, is that there is no laxity in the Constitution itself or the law, but the manner in which these laws are implemented. And if there are any viable options that are required to better the system of uh, elections in Kenya, then they must be brought within the permissible legal framework. Not at a point in time like this, when Parliament itself has gone on recess. And therefore, I urge the parliamentarians, I urge our brigade in Parliament, the UDA brigade, members of Parliament, to reject those laws in totality. If those laws were meant to serve this country, they were supposed to be brought way, way earlier. And therefore, we feel very strongly as a party those laws have been brought to serve certain interests and certain objectives and not for the prosperity and, and growth of democracy in this country. Parliament is expected to have a special sitting tomorrow to deliberate on the bill. Paul Kirobi, TV47. Well, thank you.